Now um, we're gonna have another paper entitled Identification of Clones, in this case heavier residences, using inter simple sequence repeat markers. This paper will be presented by Ms. Uh, Hong T. Liu, she's a research officer in breeding division in the Rubber Research Institute of Vietnam. She holds a Bachelor Degree of, Economy, uh, of Agronomy uh, from the University of Agriculture and Forestry, Ho Chi Minh City in 2004. And in 2011, she has uh, completed her Master Degree in Agriculture Program also at the University of Agriculture and Forestry in Ho Chi Minh City. She has been working with this institute from 2004 in breeding divisions. So without further ado, I would like to invite Ms. Hong T. Liu to present her paper. Please. Chancellor, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I have the honor to present the paper Identification of Group of Loan Caviar Blessio Lancy using Winter Simple Sequence Repeat Marker. We have a no identification of global clones has contributed important part in management and research in breeding program. This site is has contributed a great value in increasing the ability of local gardens on plantation. Up to now, the method of local clone identification has based on using Mokalikus Morphological marker, Azusel marker, and DNA marker. Each of them has a specific strength, weakness, and support application. However, uh, recently, the study has proved using molecular markers such as RNLV, micro satellite, or rapid. In identifying global clone, this is more accurate results. Moreover, uh, in the current year, there are many stories that show that INR marker has shown a useful tool for fingerprinting of plant variety. And this technique yields macro satellite cell primer in a visual, generating the shape presenting a and fire audition between two identical macro satellite with reason, with the oriented in opposite direction. And it also a simple and quick method that combines most of the advantages of IFR and IFLP to the genetic salary of profits. So basically, it is suitable for our aim and condition. Therefore, in this study, we new IFR marker to develop a new full tool identification process of 10 cultivated rubber clothes. In addition to contribute another useful DNA marker system to improve the method of clone identification. To execute this research, we use um, material, plant material, and uh, primer. This slide gives us some information about 10 elite cultivated rubber clone in Vietnam. Uh, you see most of them derive some. Um, parent that uh, and uh, primer we use 20 INR primer uh, were designed according to result of reason on 2001 and Kitchen Zoom Chop Park and Western 2007. The method, the first method of sample collection, we use the 30 individual of chain clone of which each clone includes up to three individual were collected from three different gardens. Continue uh, to extract all small per sample. We use a CTAB Brazil based on protocol of Doyle and Doyle 1987. The method of INR analysis according to the protocol was in all tools. 2005 with some minor modification. That I analyzed the reproducibility and unfair fragment pattern were changed into independent PCR. The DNA fragment were called version 1 and option 0 homo base. 
The latter analysis based on dissimilarity coefficient margin was done by using uh, UPG M MA method of NCPG 2.1. To build DNA finger printing case, we use IR band in which the sharp band was estimated by comparison with 125 DNA letters. And IFR bands are decided by the fragment size in basic pair. By the method, we get the uh, result below. The first uh, result of selection of the table and polymer phase primer. Our 10 k IFR primer, cheap primer, including T28, T30, 31, 33, 34, and 38. Produce clear review table and polymer phase DNA fragment. You say such an example, this irregularity of DNA fragment was exhibited by using primer T30. This is the this is result of PCR the first and this is the result of PCR the second. You say there were no different DNA fragment among uh, individual a per clone, the result similarity of uh, uh, 10 clones in two PCR experiments. It indicates that there were no mutant in collective sample, no genetic variation occurred among three individuals in clone across the study population, and the uncalled primer activity was successful in applying fragments. Uh, six primer previous study generated num uh, total number of bands uh, 53, uh, in which number of polymorphic bands get uh, 26, get 49.1%. Uh, this result indicates that the cultivated clone has support polymorphism. The, this result similar to reporting the this reported by using INSR, INLP, and INSR. Result of genetic relationship. This dendrogram uh, revealed 10 clones have a close genetic relationship, but it also only to determine any clone among the 10. Continue, this is a result of identification of 10 triple clones. You see, the data DNA fragment of 10 triple clone was detected by using SIP primer. You know, the breeding program of oriented to economic and economic trend has resulted in a novel genetic based on current cultivated clone. 10 editor study clone uh, have a clone related pedigree led to the similar amplified banding pattern of similarity. Uh, if one or two primer was used in different among several clones, were difficult to be detected by banding number and size. In theory, the probability of two individual options. The species have the same micro satellite were about uh, 10 to the minus 4. If six rival would yield, the appearance of a, an, an unknown clone with had the same basic number and size, any of 10 clones will be very low. Uh, therefore, a combination of six select selected parameters should only be guaranteed to identify any one among the ten clones to reach more accurate result. Ten clones were incremented based on specific present or absent real fragment of each clone or small drug of clone. And this is IFR marker finger printing K for ten clones. The first parameter T30 um, high so high of polymorphism uh, should be used to identify uh, the clone RIC one to one and divide all the clones into in three groups. Um, then uh, by using primer uh, uh, could be used to accurately identify chain clones. The elucidation of the 
making clothes. The identification of the first fit I and armor club and the generation of a finger printing cake are important resources for the reading and management of heavier civilization. And the, at last, I want to convince you that I and armor club so uh, has so potentially useful tool for the finger printing of rubber columns. Thank for your attention. Thank you very much uh, for your good presentations. Uh, now the industry, especially in Malaysia, they accepted the identification through morphological uh, morphological identifications. So perhaps like Dr. Ramdi, if he were to identify the clones, it will take him, I think, the most one and a half minutes. Uh, in your case, how would you reckon that using the protocol that you have shown just now to identify a clone, how long would it take? This time for your person is about two days. About two days? Yeah, two days hours. for uh, about 30 samples. 30, uh, 30 clones. 30 clones in 48 yeah. hours. Okay. Very good. And um, um, suitable for our equipment uh, and uh, conditions. Oh, excellent. To special finance. Okay, right. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, we have got this uh, Dr. James. This is a Please. supplementary to your own question. Yeah. You know, the morphology is not constant. It changes with the environment. Yes. So, but the DNA will not change with the environment. So, I will vote for DNA fingerprinting with all the uh, uh, prospect of runway. Uh, morphology and the leaf pattern, wavery, everything is fine. But you grow in a different climate or environment, morphology will not be stable need not be stable, whereas your nuclear genome is going to be stable. So, my SSR is good. Thank you for your comment. Yes, please, Dr. Lam. See, you have attracted lots of questions now. Can we have a microphone for yes. Mr. Lam, uh, please? I just add some information. In fact, uh, uh, the, uh, the twice, uh, not only we use the uh, uh, morphology cone characters to identify the clones in the nurseries or in the wood goods garden, in the wood goods garden. but in some case, as Dr. James stressed, the morphology cones is varied by the conditions of the planting, for example, the if you plant from the south, it's different but in the highland with the stress, uh, uh, the, the, the conditions of the climate, the morphological may be changed. So we use the DNA fingerprinting as the final checks to ensure the right clone. Thank you. Okay, owing to the limited time that we have got now, I think I've got to leave it the questions. Uh, anyway, thank you very much again. And let us give a round of applause for an excellent presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now move to paper number three.